And uh, there are similar controls over here in our network view. So if we uh, want to kind of pan around, we just hold down the middle mouse key. I usually am holding down the alt key and holding down the middle mouse button to pan around probably because of muscle memory from working in the scene view. But you can just hold down the middle mouse button by itself and it works. Um, you can also scroll in and out using the uh, scroll wheel, just like you can when you hold down Alt and scroll in and out with the scroll wheel over here. Um, and over here also you can hold uh, down the right mouse button and zoom in and out of your network. Now if you're um, lost in your network and it's off to the side or something like that, you can hit the H key and home back in on that. Similarly to how you can hit the spacebar H key over here and home in on your uh, scene like so. Um, another thing is, you know, suppose you have the uh, light selected over here and you don't know where it is in your network, um, you can hit F and it will frame that light, you know, whatever object you have selected in your view will be framed over here. Um, like, for example, hitting this poly and then coming over here and hitting F, I'll just, it'll, it'll scroll me over to my uh, poly geo in this network. Uh, going back to the flags concept we briefly touched on before, uh, you can see that here um, you know, we talked about uh, using the, the blue flag to kind of turn objects on and off. Um, so when you hover over a node, you get this kind of radial pop-up. You can either click on the eye that pops up here or actually click on this blue part right here. This is just made, it's supposed to make things easier when you're like really zoomed out. You can kind of turn things on and off without having to be right on top of this blue part. So that's here. And then there's also the green one. The green one just makes the object not selectable. So once I have the green flag turned off, can't select the poly, turn it back on, and I can select it. So that's sort of what that one does. And then the other one is the info button. This is more applicable. I use this a lot in SOPs, but right here, it doesn't seem like it's, um, I, I don't use it too much on the, um, on the object level, which we're in right now. Other things that are important to know how to do out here in the network editor is to create objects. So to do that, you just basically the tab menu is your friend. You hit tab and you start typing sphere and you hit enter and you get a little thing and you click it and uh, it allows you to drop your node down wherever you're going to do it and um, that will place a sphere into your scene. If I turn the display flag off on the poly you can see we got a sphere here. Example again if I hit tab and start typing box you got a box you can come up here and click it on the menu and click it in the network view and you've dropped down a box. So that's kind of how you can create objects into your scene. Just going to go ahead and uh, select those two and hit the delete key and to get rid of them and let's turn the poly back on and uh, what we can do here is you can actually uh, you, the way i like to think of these um these objects on the object level um you can see we're in the object level i like to think of these as like little folders that contain you know the actual parametric geometry underneath them so if i go to the poly render and double click you can dive inside and you can see that there's this node that um, references the uh, poly setup from another node brings it in but this is more or less like the geometry level of it you can see right here this is geometry level so geometry context or sops is what's going on inside of all of these object level nodes um, if i dive inside the setup by double clicking on it you can see that this is where the main um, chunks of work is hap the, the main chunks of work are happening you can see we're creating the main base geo we're doing the um, pyro the clouds the lightning down here um, just all the setups in our scene are sort of built in here and then extracted back out to the object level by object merging them in here using this object merge node you don't really necessarily need how, need to know how any of that stuff works for this course that's just sort of the way i like to do things if i zoom out here and kind of drag my setup off to the side and say view show uh dependency links for selected nodes and select the setup you can see that the setup is actually feeding all of these nodes here all the information that all these nodes have is pouring out of this gigantic setup that we did right here so that's sort of how that works and so really this is kind of how a lot of um, Houdini setups will work is you'll have one or two nodes that are doing most of the heavy lifting like we have right here and then that uh, information from these nodes will be extracted back out to the object context or for uh, you know for rendering purposes. Uh, so uh, another way, like if you wanted to navigate through your scene and kind of see, uh, you know, if you grab this node, you can kind of see that it's it has a dependency that came from setup. If you dive into the node, uh, you can see that you've got your, you know, this is the node, that, this is the null at the end of the chain that is going to be rendered. If you go up to the top of the chain, you can see that there's an object merge 
Now object merge is taking us to that setup file. And if I hit this little arrow key right here, that'll jump me into the setup file and select that node. And since I don't know where that node exactly is right now, uh, but I know that it is selected since we just navigated to it, if I hit the F key, it'll take us right there. And this is the geo inside of this network that built this poly. So now when we're inside of a network, what we can do is actually turn on showing all objects or hiding other objects. And you can see here when I say show all objects, we can see this light is appearing. But when I say hide all objects, that goes away. Now if I go over, you know, up here to the top of this network, you can see that we basically just started with a platonic solid. And we start to break that apart and, to, and do different things with it, like creating VDBs of it and uh, creating our 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 volume trails out of it and everything like that. Now, if we're inside of this context and we turn on the show all objects, you can see that the other object level version of this poly render, which is being fed out, we can see that while we're inside this context. So sometimes that's handy and sometimes it's not. Ghosting other objects will sort of kind of put that concept into x-ray mode, but allow you to sort of see what's going outside of this uh, project on the object level while you're still inside the SOPS level. So I'm just going to turn that back to uh, hide other objects and then we will go up out to the object level by hitting this thing right here that kind of brings us back up. So another way to get in, in and out is to hit the I key to dive in and the, uh, the U key to dive back up. So in and up <laughs> is kind of how I like to think about it. 